Hi everyone, my name is Elena Manicola and today I'm going to share with you a homework help video. Okay, so the homework help video that I want to share with you all are Roman numerals. So basically, what are numeral, Roman numerals in the first place? So Roman numerals is based on a numerical system that originated in Rome, um, and it's represented by a combination of letters from the Latin alphabet. Um, it also employs seven different symbols, each with a fixed integer value. So the symbols, like I said before, the first one is I, which stands for the value of one, um, V, which is equal to the value of five, X, which is equal to the value of 10, L, which is 50, C is 100, D is 500, and M is 1000. So I have an example for you guys. So the first example is, how would you write 20 as a Roman numeral? So if we go back to the chart, we see that there isn't a specific value that equals 20, um, but we do know that X is equal to 10. So if we just put two X's, that equals to 20. So we basically just add the symbols together, if that makes sense. So if we have two X's, that's actually two tens, which is equal to 20. So then we just add the two tens together. So then the answer is XX because 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. And then I have, what does this Roman numeral represent? So it's an X, 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 and an I and an I. So if we go back to the table, I said before the X's are equal to 10. So if we have three X's, that's 30. And if we have two I's, that's equal to two. So then 30 plus two is 32. So that's our answer. And then how would you write 29 as a Roman numeral? So if we go back to our chart again, um, we know that X again is the closest to, to um, 20. So basically we would just have to put two X's to get 20. Um, but then for the nine, um, we know that we're going to need um, another, well, we can't put, we can't put nine ones cause that just like doesn't make sense. That's not how they do that in Roman numeral form. So when we use a nine, what we do is we put a one in front and then we put an X. And if we have a one in front of the X, this is actually um, a subtracting situation. So if we have a smaller value in front of a larger value, that just means that we're subtracting the two numbers together. So if we have an I and an X. So like I X, that's actually equal to nine because we're subtracting 10 from one. So if we were to write, if we were to write um, 29 as a Roman numeral, we would do X, x which is 20 and then we would do i x because that's equal to 9 so then 20 plus 9 is 29 so that's our answer and then another example i have is what does this roman numeral represent we have an l x i x so if we go back to the chart we know that l is equal to 50 so then we have 50, we have 10, we have one, and we have 10. So we can add the L and the X together, which is 60, but then we have the I and the X situation again. And since I is equal to one and X is equal to 10, there's a smaller value in front of the larger number. So we have to subtract the last two symbols together. So basically what we have is 60, and then we have um, nine because we're subtracting 10 from one. So basically it would be 50 plus 10 plus nine, which is 69. And that's our answer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this makes sense to you. If you have any other questions, we are willing to help you out, but thank you. And I hope you understand this much more. Thank you.